afternoon from Shargao. When we got here yesterday, we realized we had a ton of laundry to do. So we dropped it off, but that included our bathing suits, which meant we couldn't participate in any water-based activities. And there's an awful lot of those to do on this and the surrounding islands. So it's kind of left us a little bit room bound for a bit. However, we have received the notification that our laundry is done. So we are going to head out and do a few chores. The first one is going to be feeding ourselves some lunch. The second one is picking up a laundry. The third one is going to the grocery store to get some oatmeal and peanut butter for breakfast. Since we do need to get around the island, the final thing to do is rent a motorcycle. It was surprisingly hard to find a bike, but we've managed to find a place that provides us with one for 350 pesos per day. It's not available now, but apparently it's available tomorrow, so we reserve one, so I guess... And after all of that is done, we can finally start exploring the island. Good morning! We have finally managed to secure a motorbike, but not without some difficulty. We arrived to the travel agency this morning and they still didn't have a bike for us but they called around to their partners and they found one. So we can now go explore the island of Shargao. We've just had the most incredible drive. It was this like white paved road and on either side there was a huge concentration of these lush green palm trees. It was absolutely stunning and it's definitely a thing for tourists to stop along the side of the road and take photos because that's how Instagrammable it is. We've now come to one of the most featured things on every article that we've read so far. It's called Mag Poponco Rock Pools. It costs 125 with our bike to get in, plus an additional 20 for parking for the day. So let's go check it out. I don't know what I was expecting from Mag Papunko rock pools, but this is definitely way better than I could have imagined. The water is the most perfect temperature. And I think part of it was I didn't really understand what I was coming to, but basically it's this natural rock wall 
that forms a barrier between the ocean waves and the shore. And so there's this little area between that natural rock wall and the shore that has a pool of water that is completely calm that you can swim in. I don't know, it just kind of blows my mind with how unique it is and how enjoyable I found it. But it's kind of interesting because basically, well, I think we're coming into like higher tide now. So at that point, then you have an abundance of life kind of being swept into the rock pool. And then that just stays around. So without even knowing it, by just diving into this rock pool, you're sharing it with a bunch of coral and fish and sponges and all sorts of amazing wildlife, which also makes it a really interesting experience and definitely something way beyond taking a dip anywhere else, really. And you're also sharing it with a bunch of people, just to be clear. Hmm. So it's the one downside. But honestly, the rest of this has been great. And considering the fact that we paid, what, $3.50 to be here, including parking, then yeah, you can't really argue with that. Definitely come here if you come to Shargao. It is so worth it to just basically chill in a natural swimming pool for however long you want. And then there's also like a beach right alongside it too. And they have tons of little restaurants along the beach. So you could really eat here, spend a couple hours easily. I think one thing I'm really noticing about the Philippines is that it has so many unique things that you can see. And I hope that that's come through in the last few videos that we've done. And this is just another one of them. It's, it's amazing. And for that reason, really, you could very easily spend months going around each of these islands and just enjoying the natural beauty you get out of it. A lot to discover for sure. We've arrived here to the Masin River. We had no idea really what to expect or what one could really do here. We were just directed here because apparently it's nice. However, when we rocked up, it's very tourist driven, which I guess isn't surprising if it's nice. However, it seems like the main thing to do here is to hop on a kayak with a guide who then takes you down the river for 25 to 30 minutes. And the cost for that boat would be 600 pesos. Plus, on top of that, you do have to pay an additional 20 pesos per person in order to get in in the first place. So we had to think about it and we decided we wanted to take our 16 Canadian dollars and spend them on something else instead. So I think we're just gonna head back to General Luna and go in search of some food because I am hungry for lunch. Same, same, same. And just like that, we've come back from lunch. We went to the same place as yesterday called Ronaldo's, which seems to do decent food, but very cheap, which is excellent. And that's about us for the whole day. But it's been a pretty wonderful day at that. Mm -hmm. I think that renting a scooter is definitely the best way to see this island. Just like Bohol, where we suggested doing the same thing, the beauty inland is incredible. A lot of the islands we've been to, like Corona and El Nido, you are looking at like island hopping. And I mean, that is available here, but there is just so much natural beauty inland. And by renting a scooter, you can just take it in at your own pace. Absolutely. And there's so much to see between rolling hills and mountains, jungle, farmlands, and then going through cute little villages and all 
and stuff. Honestly, it's just a real gem, and I'm very glad that we actually listened to the people who recommended Charg out to mm. us for this particular reason. Because that could be wrong, um, especially as somebody who's only been on a scooter for a few days, technically speaking. Um, then actually, just kind of going through countryside like that kind of helps you to forget the anxiety of it all. And yeah, just really helps you to kind of appreciate what you're seeing. So I'm sure the roads being really well paved helps too. Yeah, absolutely. It's it can be a little bit bumpy at times. Certainly, the road surfaces are good, but they can be a bit of a test on your butt. But um, but all in all, though, yeah, um, you can't really ask for much better infrastructure as far as it all goes, especially because the roads are usually pretty quiet as well. Yeah, it's nowhere near as busy or as bumpy as it was in Indonesia. And even in Indonesia, in a bud, like we were still fine going on a scooter. Absolutely. Highly recommend renting a scooter. Definitely recommend going to Meg Papanko Rock Pools. Go there for a swim and enjoy the views while you're on the scooter. It's stunning landscape. And we'll look forward to exploring more of this island tomorrow. But until next time, take care. And keep smiling.